Think of two states famous for making cheese, and you might think of Vermont and Wisconsin first. Well, in fact, Vermont is just tenth in cheese production, and while Wisconsin is number one, coming in a close second is California, producing over two billion pounds a year. The public's growing appetite for artisanal or handcrafted cheeses has created big opportunities for small companies like Modesto-based Fiscalinis. A relative newcomer to the scene, they've already racked up an impressive list of awards. It's not just nationally, but internationally. We won three times the best extra mature cheddar in the world in England. I've been making cheese for over 30 years. Uh, and I started in, in my country, in Paraguay, in South America. We started making cheese in the year 2000, in November of 2000. Mariano came on shortly after that in 2001. And we like to joke that before Mariano came, we thought we were making cheese. And then once he finally got here, he showed us really how to make cheese. The milk that we work with, uh, we never heated up about the temperature of the animal, the cow. All our products are basically raw. We like to maintain that part of the traditional uh, process of the cheese, maintaining high quality. The Fiscalini family has raised dairy herds on this farm since 1914. Fourth generation CEO Brian Fiscalini believes this start to finish approach is key to the company's success. We maintain the control the entire time. So the cleanliness, the sanitation, the training of our employees, uh, the care of our animals, all of that leads to a great, high quality, healthy milk. And from what Mariano tells us, it's that great, high quality milk that makes phenomenal cheese. But making cheese with raw, unpasteurized milk requires strict adherence to food safety standards and frequent inspections. Uh, Fiscalini's uh, maintains uh, that particular process. They keep everything clean and sanitary. They're, uh, they're always conscious of the handling of the product um, all the way to uh, the packaging and uh, uh, distribution of the product. Although traditional techniques are at the heart of Mariano's craft, Fiscalini's wine and beer-infused cheddars appeal to his more adventurous side. This is the hopscotch, and it's a cheddar cheese made with uh, scotch ale beer from uh, Devil's Canyon and uh, San Carlos. Now that the cheese is all in the hoop, we're going to cover with this material, and they will protect from sticking on the steel. And then we're going to cover and we'll start uh, pressing the cheese. So after we press all the cheese, uh, this will stay here for uh, at least 18 hours. Now this particular cheese we ate for three to four months. Another way that the company has distinguished itself as an industry leader is in its investment in clean energy. So we're here at our digester. This is where we take all of the manure and all the waste from the farm and we turn it into electricity. We can fuel our entire farm here. We have enough electricity for our dairy barn, our cheese operation, and then for an additional 300 homes in the area. Champions of tradition and innovation, the Fiscalini Cheese Company is a prime example of a small company making a big contribution to the reputation of California cheese around the world. The vision for our company of, of how we grow is to get to a point where we can utilize 100% of the milk that our cows produce to make into value-added branded products under the Fiscalini name and doing so in a manner that is responsible to our animals, our people and our land.